I'm Anil Kumar and we are trying to analyze linear quadratic system in this particular video. I have taken up question number 11 page 199 Nelson functions to help my student understand this question. The question here is a quadratic function is defined by f of x equals to 3x square plus 4x minus 2. A linear function is defined by g of x equals to mx minus 5. What values of the slope of the line would make it tangent to the parabola, right? So that is the kind of question. So to understand the situation, it is kind of a parabola here given to you and then we have a line. So what values of the slope of the line would make a tangent to the parabola? So we could have a tangent kind of like this, right? And we could also have a tangent kind of like this. So there could be two values, right? So anyway, let us try to analyze the situation and see whether we get any value or not, or do we get two values, right? So that is the whole situation. So for that, what we will do is we will equate the two functions with equality. So gx over x, right? Now, if these two functions are equal, that means they're intersecting. A line intersecting a parabola now that could be you know in many different ways it may or may not intersect you know or it may intersect in two places or like we are saying tangent in this particular case we want to find when are they tangent right? that means at one point and that should happen only when the discriminant D which is B square minus 4 AC should be equal to 0 right so so that becomes a condition for tangent of these two functions, right? So we will first equate the two functions and then find the value of m for which the discriminant is 0 so that we have one solution. At this stage, you can pause the video. You have understood how to solve it. Solve and then check your answer, right? Okay, and here is my solution. So let's begin by writing the equations. It is 3x squared plus 4x minus 2 that is f of x and g of x is mx minus 5 bring them all together so we have 3x square plus 4x minus mx we have minus 2 plus 5 equals to 0 let's combine the terms so we can t m we have 4 minus m here with x uh, coefficient and here we have plus 3 equals to zero so when i say b square minus 4 ac in this case what is a equals to a is 3 for us b is 4 minus m remember that and c is equals to 3 so b square minus 4 ac is what for us so b square minus 4 ac let's do it on the right side itself and then we'll get back to this side and write down our solution so b square means 4 minus m. Let me write here 4 minus m whole square. We are trying to calculate the discriminant now. b square is 4 minus m minus 4 times a is 3 and c is also 3 for us. That should be equal to 0 for this condition to be true that we are looking for a tangent to the parabola. right? So what we get here is 4 minus m whole square and this is 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 4 is 36 equals to 0. Now how to solve this equation? Do not expand this, otherwise it gets complicated. It's easier to solve here and that is where I think my students are getting lost, right? So you have to solve like this. Take this to the right side, that's the key. So we have 4 minus m whole square equals to 36. You get the idea, right? Now you square root it. So we get 4 minus m equals to square root of 36. Whenever you square root, you have to write plus and minus. That gives you two solutions, correct? So we can find m now. So m is equals to, we can take m that side, this, this side. So it becomes 4 minus and plus square root of 36 is what? 6, right? So let me write here, plus and minus 6. So two values are possible, right? So for two different solutions, we get m equals to 4 minus 6 or 4 plus 6, correct? So that gives us two possible solutions 
and these are when I say 4 minus 6 I get the solution as minus 2 4 plus 6 gives me 10 do you get it so these two equations for so my equations now are g of x could be equal to if I take minus 2 I get minus 2x minus 5 or g of x could be equal to 10x minus 5 you get the idea so that is how we could solve right so that's a negative slope kind of like this equation and that's a positive slope looks like that particular equation correct I hope you understand the situation and the concept so this is a very important example which helps you to understand the whole concept whenever we are saying tangent we are looking for just one point or the discriminant equals to zero right I hope that is absolutely clear thank you and all the best